So we're going to ask them to drop their head from four different locations. The first location doesn't have to be in any order, but the first location could be, we're going to just flip on underneath for a minute, could be underneath here, which means you just gently keep his nose straight. He's going to say, does that mean forward? And it doesn't. You're going to ask them to drop the head. All you do is close your fingers like you're closing your fingers on a peach. So I don't need to see 100 pounds of weight on his head. You just close the fingers, keep his nose straight. And you're going to reward the try, keep your nose straight. And if you see any try or feel any try, you release. And the head goes to the ground. That was classic. So we do three consecutive times. Horses learn in threes. So don't pull his head down. You've got to release as soon as he goes down. So we're not dragging the head. It's an ask, release. Now, you're also going to train him to do it here. So when he feels the hand on the nose, head straight. <laughs> feel it on the nose. Going to cheat in. You will let go. And that way you teach your horse to lower his head into the halter. The high horses, you teach them to lower their head down. So as soon as he gives, I'm going to ask again here, you just let go and you praise him. In a very short period of time, you're having your horses put the halters on. The third place will be up here. I'm not going to do that one. That's the third place. When you touch here, you want it down. No massaging up here. I just want the hand on there. Literally place your hand on. I said I wasn't going to do it and then let him go. The fourth will be for riding. If you have a western saddle on, go for about here. And we're going to put the hand here and we're just going to have it really resting and he's going to give to pressure. If he doesn't, you can encourage him underneath here just to help him out. And as he gives, we're going to praise. That means you take it onto horseback and when he's nervous, you put your hand up there, he begins to lower his head. Horses cannot be nervous if the head's down. So you're asking him to relax and breathe. So you want to be able to train him in four different locations, each time, three consecutive times. There's a collection of nerves just under here. It's called ganglion of nerves. And you're going to rub it in a circular motion, clockwise, and just rub your fingers there. I don't know if you can see, but they begin to relax those eyes and soften the eyes, and they really like it. <laughs> so you can also just rub the hand over. I did that on purpose. But you're taking away the vision, and some horses really hate that, which means that they're not ready to give you the trust. So it's a great way to see if they can trust you and learn to trust. So you do the bottom of the eye. This hand's protecting me. And so each time he goes to a bite, I can just put my knuckles in his face. And he can learn that that's okay. He should be able to give up his vision. So that's an okay thing. So you're going to see if they enjoy it. And you're going to build the trust by occasionally taking away that vision. And so go in here a little bit. You don't have to typically do it that way. As he gives, you release. As he gives, you release. You don't need a fight. You're going to put your backside here, and he's going to look at his hip bone. As softly as he comes around is as softly as he needs to take the head back. And I do it three times nicely. So it's like a peach. Just coming in here. He's going to hopefully drop the nose a little. Good boy. And his head around for this. And as softly as he brings it, he takes it back. So these are neck stretches. What's the benefit to a neck stretch? Yeah, yeah. to stretch. Okay, what else? To make the muscles more uh, supple. Less yeah. So we're stretching and we're making them more supple. What else? How do I build trust this way? Opening his side. Yeah. The other side. That's it. He's no longer got his eye over there. So I'm taking his vision away 
by bringing his nose around and I'm saying, trust me enough to follow me so that I take care of the vision. It's a very trust building, okay? It's so the same thing, three on either side, nice and smoothly. You can also see if they're stiff or if they're one-sided that way. So you're doing a lot of readings when you do the neck lifts. Okay, so then we start, start slowly. And what you start with, either step forward or back, we're going to start with a step back right now. So the line's short for that. It's short and you're going to the point of shoulder, which is here on the hall. Point of shoulder. So you're aiming for the point of shoulder. Now you've already put a head drop in. So I'd like to see the head drop first. Do a head drop. There. And then from that positioning, I want him to go back. Can. There's a head drop. And then there's going to be a back step. And praise him. Keep his nose straight. We want a nice relaxed head. And then we want a back step. Just like that. Relief, reward. You're off at the side here. begin to get the rocking horse action. So here is a horse that should be moving forward and back pretty well to the point where you don't need the halter anymore. So you become the rocking horse. That's called the dance. So you begin to get him to learn to come off of pressure really close with you. One foot at a time man maneuvering his feet so that he learns space and you're controlling each foot, he's learning the respect, he's learning the pressure, etc. And keep your body language in place. 